right. Well, good morning. I just spent some time with you, but I thought I would do page 76 in the textbook because that is also good practice for using the present unreal conditional where it's imaginary. And these are great examples, these readings. So let's just uh, listen to these readings and they would You'll be get willing to if listen. For several months, Frederick has been pressuring his wife, Doris, to go to the dentist, but she refuses to go. The reason is that she can't stand the sound of the dentist's drill. Doris says that if the dentist's drill didn't bother her so much, she would be willing to go to the dentist. Frederick hopes his wife changes her mind and goes to the dentist soon. All right, so just some vocabulary words here. Uh, refuses means to say no. And the dentist drill, the drill. <laughs> ah, I hate that sound. I don't really blame Doris too much for not liking the dentist. But sometimes you have to go, Doris. Come on, you can do it. And here's the conditional. Um, Doris says that if the dentist drill didn't bother her so much, she would be willing to go to the dentist. So remember the if clause is false. If the dentist drill didn't bother her so much, it bothers her and she's not going. All right. So that's a good example of this tense. All right, let's have a look at this other one. For several months, Barry's family has been encouraging him to ask his boss for a raise, but Barry refuses to do it. The reason is that he's afraid his boss might get angry and say no. Barry says that if he weren't afraid of his boss's reaction, he would be willing to ask for a raise. Barry's family hopes he changes his mind and asks for a raise soon. All right, come on, Barry, you can do it. Get some courage, Barry. Here's Barry. He's afraid of his boss. Uh, but his family hopes he can do it soon. He can ask for a raise soon. Where's the condition here? Barry says that if he weren't afraid of his boss's reaction, he would be willing to ask for a raise. So there's the condition. The truth is he hasn't asked for a raise because he's afraid of his boss. But if he weren't afraid, he would ask for a raise. All right, you see how the conditional works there? All right, so let's check for meaning here. Hmm, let's move this, if I can. Thanks, clicker. True, false, or maybe. Number one. Frederick refuses to go to the dentist. That's false, isn't it the lady? It's a lady who wants is afraid to go to the dentist. Doris. I'm with you, Doris. Number two. Doris is going to find a different dentist. Notice I'm reading quickly because you, you are good at this. You can do it. Is she going to find another dentist? No. False. Number three. Doris would be willing to go to the dentist if the sound of the drill didn't bother her so much. True. Number four. Barry isn't willing to ask for a raise right now. True. He's afraid, remember. Number five. If Barry asked for a raise, his boss would say no. Maybe. We don't know. We just know Barry's afraid he will say no. We don't know if that's true or whatever. Number six. Barry's family began to encourage him to ask for a raise one month ago. For several months, Barry's family has been encouraging him to ask 
his boss for a raise, but Barry refuses to do it. So is that one month ago? Several. How many is several? That's a great question. Several. I mean, there's a couple. That's two. A few. That's like three or four. Some. That's like four or five. Some. And I think of candy. Give me a couple pieces of candy. That's two. Give me a few pieces of candy. That's three. Give me some. That's four or five or six. Some. Um, several is like seven to me. Several. Several. Six or seven or eight or more. Several. I called my um, insurance agent several times. That means four, five, six times. Okay. Now we're going to do this listening exercise. All right. You're going to listen and choose the statement that is true based on what you hear. Okay. Maybe. I don't know why this is doing this. Listening. Listen and choose the statement that is true based on what you hear. One. If it weren't raining today, we'd go to the beach. Two. If we had enough money, we'd buy a new car. Three. I'd be very happy if Mrs. Carter were my English teacher. So just a reminder, if is not true. The if part of this is not true. So listen carefully. Four. If the company's profits increase, we'll receive bonuses. Well, that's a hard one. Five. If I weren't allergic to trees, I'd go hiking with you this weekend. Six. If I didn't have to work tonight, I'd invite you to go to the movies with me. Okay, so those are difficult. So let's do that again and I'll give you a clue on Listen. the answer. Listen and choose the statement that is true, true based on what you hear. One. If it weren't raining today, we'd go to the beach. If it weren't raining, so it is raining today. Two. Letter A. If we had enough money, we'd buy a new car. If we had enough money, so we don't have enough money. Three. I'd be very happy if Mrs. Carter were my English teacher. If Mrs. Carter were my English teacher. So Mrs. Carter isn't her English teacher. Four. If the company's profits increase, we'll receive bonuses. If the company's profits increase, we'll receive bonuses. So they might receive bonuses. Um, that's the tricky one because we don't know if the company's profits increased or not. We know they didn't so far, but if they do, they'll receive bonuses. So that means they might receive bonuses. That This is a hard one, I know. You might want to listen to that one again. Five. If I weren't allergic to trees, I'd go hiking with you this weekend. If I weren't allergic, so he's allergic. He isn't going hiking this weekend. Six. If I didn't have to work tonight, I'd invite you to go to the movies with me. Aw, he's working tonight. He isn't going to the movies tonight because he has listen. to work. Listen. Oh, stop. You can listen to that again if you like. Those are kind of difficult, but that's a little more practice with this tense. All right, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful day today. It was good seeing you this morning in our Zoom class. All right.